And now weather, real, new, now, with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning. It's going to be warm out there today for you, Chiefs Kingdom. As you're tailgating, we're looking at temperatures in the 50s with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures today will be about 20 degrees above average in the middle 60s with sunshine. Incredibly warm. You could probably take part of your party outside. Wouldn't even be afraid to fire up the grill outside. Now, in Miami today, where the game is being held at Hard Rock Stadium, they're looking at temperatures around 70 degrees with sunshine, things clear and dry through the game. So don't expect any weather hazards because that is an open stadium. Now, the football season in Miami has been warming. It's been warming by about two and a half degrees since 1970. Now, when you talk about warming temperatures for a coastal city, you really focus in on two things. Storms, those hurricanes, things like that, the warmer temperatures give them extra fuel, so you get more fuel for stronger storms and sea level rise. Of course, a huge concern for coastal communities. Uh, by 2050, the flood zones are going to grow because of sea level rise and increased storm surge putting about a billion dollars worth of uh, property in those increasing storm zones and flood zones on the Florida coast. Now, this is what Super Bowl 104 could look like by 2070, putting six feet of water on top of that high tide. You could see with that sea level rise, the stadium just inundated and flooded. And again, this is a real reality for people in coastal communities, especially in places like Miami. Joe, Lauren.